I recently took a virtual Redken training with Sean Goddard, and I wanted to share with you guys some of the things I took away from that training and what really inspired this look today. One of the main things that I took away from the class was that it's not necessarily always about overworking the hair and adding lots of things. Sometimes it's about working with what you have. I already really loved this grown out foliage look that the mannequin had, so I wanted to just go in and add a pop of enhancement. I started out by just taking a small section around the hairline. I started out by taking a weave, and instead of picking up and painting the top section and dropping down the bottom, I decided to paint the bottom section to get that lightness right at the hairline. I turned my brush vertically and feathered towards the root, but fully saturated this first foil. For the second foil, I decided to go in with a back-to-back -back placement. I took a smaller stitch and went in to just really fully saturate that second foil. This time I put the lightener all the way up to the root. For my third foil, I wanted to make this the transition one. So I went ahead and teased to the section and applied my lightener to the looser stitch. For the second part of this hairline detail technique, I rotated the mannequin and begun to work on this side section. I repeated the technique on this side by taking a stitch and instead of placing my lightener on the top part of the section, I actually painted the lightener on the piece that you would normally drop out. Again, turning my brush to the side and feathering up towards the root. For the next one, I went ahead and decided to tease this section to transition into the rest of the hair. This was a smaller section, so I only needed two foils on this side. Now I just released the rest of the hair and checked for balance on both sides and I think she's ready to go. I think the coolest thing about this, I think far too often, we're always trying to overwork the hair and do these crazy transformations, but sometimes it just takes a little pop in the front to really kind of reinvent the look. I started thinking about some of our clients coming in from their quarantine grow out and really looking at it with a lot of intimidation and how we were gonna have to do so much to really enhance that look. And I thought this was a really cool idea to just add the pop in the front. And sometimes it doesn't take all of that. It just takes a small amount to freshen someone up and make this look pop. I am obsessed with it. I hope you guys enjoyed this look. It's so pretty. I love all the golden feel and the fun pop in the front. It really kind of reinvents this whole grown out foliage into a brand new style. I hope you guys took something out of today's video and enjoyed it. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.